Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. This is a whole video about one question that's very interesting to me and it's from Paul. He wants to know about renaming boats. So as you may or may not know there's a superstition that you shouldn't rename your narrowboat while she's in the water and in boating in general it's supposed to be bad luck to rename your boat and I found out why and it's absolutely fascinating. So the reason that you shouldn't rename your boat is because way, way, way back when, when all the boats were wooden ships, um, like the lovely Abbey the Boat Builder makes, um, on the mast would have the name engraved. And so every time you renamed your boat, you would have to uh, like chip away the old name and then engrave the new name in the wood, like carvings. So every time you changed the name of the boat, you were making the mast weaker. And that's why it was originally bad luck, because if a boat had had it na its name changed a few times, the mast would be much more likely to snap. Very interesting. Um, but with narrow boats, there's lots of other superstition around it. And the main thing is that you shouldn't name your boat a new name unless you have it out of the water. So if you've taken her out to black, you can change the name. If you've taken her out for a survey, for instance, you can change the name then. But you shouldn't rename a boat in the water as that's supposed to be bad luck. There's also superstitions that you shouldn't name your boat after somebody who's alive. You shouldn't name your boat after your husband or wife or your pet. Basically, you shouldn't name your boat after anything that you want to stay lucky. Um, so yes, those are all sort of naming superstitions and it's very interesting. But I do know that there are some people who do naming ceremonies. So if they're changing the name while the boat is in the water, you do a naming ceremony to appease the water gods. And uh, I believe it involves lots of, sort of champagne in the water and, and uh, different ceremonial blessings and words. I'm sure you can find many, many, many different ones online as I did. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was a really, really, really interesting subject and I really wanted to devote a little bit of time to it. Um, so if you've changed your boat's name, let me know in the, dis in the comments and uh, let me know, has it been bad luck for you? Did you do it in the water, out of the water? Did you do a naming ceremony? I want to know all of it. It's an absolutely fascinating subject. If you have a wooden boat and you re renamed her, tell me about what the superstition's there now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I have a Facebook page called This Narrowboat Adventure where I post the new videos. I also have a Patreon. Um, that's for if you'd like to help support the videos. Um, we've had some really exciting stuff going on. I can't wait for you to see what's going to happen next. Um, so that's uh, partly due to my patrons being very helpful. Uh, and basically most of my Patreon money goes on equipment. So big up to the Patreons. And thank you very much for watching these videos. If you would like to, you can click subscribe and you can join us again on this narrowboat adventure and have a lovely week. I will see you very, very soon. Okay, bye. Thank you.